Let's go ahead and uh, we are running about four minutes over, but we're okay. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our uh, next presenter, Guy Cohen. Guy is a uh, well, <laughs> Guy is a guy I've known for quite a while. That's a little bit of uh, I was kind of laughing because I didn't know how to phrase that a little bit better. But he's based in the UK, uh, and every time I go over to the UK, I kind of sit down and have some breakfast with him. He's got a very interesting strategy that you're going to like uh, around options. Uh, and his OVI indicator. So I'm going to go ahead and get him talking, make sure we can hear him. Let's go ahead and turn his microphone on. Guy. Hello, Jeff. Guy. Guy is from London. Did I mention that? I think I did. Uh, How are you, you doing today, Guy? Well, I'm good, except for that hideous picture of me from a long time ago. And I'm sure I gave you a new picture and said expressly not to use that one. Well, here, let's get rid of it then. I'm going to go ahead and turn let's this. Get rid of that. that. Get, no, no one wants to see that. That's, yeah. uh, that, that's how. Uh, okay. I thought it was quite handsome. I don't think you can go wrong with that picture. Well, I'm not sure about that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we can have a vote on that one later. Let me just make sure that we have everything um, as it should be. Uh, I just want to make sure that you can see my screen. Uh, I can. Which is good. Yeah, everyone can see my screen. And let's just have a little look at uh, everyone else. I like to, now for those of you who are not used to me, this might be a culture shock, but uh, we'll get by it. Give me a little wave. So on the right, on the top of the uh, screen, you'll see a little hand that you can wave. And if you press it, you can wave. And there's lots of waving going on. So that's great. When Jeff tells me I can begin, I will begin. Um, yeah. And uh, we... It's all yours. Go. Great stuff. Okay. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, we were supposed to be starting at 12, but it's a little bit later than that. But uh, I'm sure Jeff will let me run over just a little bit here. Um, just two quick hands of who knows me already. Who knows me already? Who's like part? Oh, not that many. Okay. So this will be, okay, quite a few, actually, quite a few. Okay. Well, welcome all. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here with Metastock, and I'll be telling you about the, the way that Metastock and myself are getting involved um, a little bit later. But for this next hour, I'm going to be showing you how to follow insiders or likely insiders to create your own six-figure trading business in literally just 10 minutes or so a day. And I am an expert trader, multiple best-selling author, and creator of the OVI indicator, which some of you may have heard about. Now, just to make sure that I'm in the right place, I'm guessing you're here because um, you're very keen on trading, number one, but you might feel that there is some inconsistency with how you implement your trades. And just raise your hands if any of these apply to you. So there may be some inconsistency with the way that you implement your trades. You may be a little frustrated with your current results. Uh, there may be too much time staring at screens. Uh, not That's something that I really don't like to do. Um, or you just know that you could do better, but you just don't quite know which strategy to take. So pretty much may, most hands are going up there with all of those. Now, here's where I guess you really want to be, and that is consistent with a method that you know works because it's based in logic, not silly things like uh, magic numbers. And that consistency will give you the confidence to and the in the logic and the application of your plan and that would hopefully give you more time to be doing other things other than trading rather than just staring at your screens all day and that would mean better results more dollars and with no stress so if that appeals to you just give me a raise of hands because that's certainly the way that I'm coming from and that's what I want in my trading so here's the plan today in the very small amount of time. This is about half the time I normally have with people. Um, but I want to give you confidence where there was once uncertainty and clarity where there was once confusion and the ability to trade profitably, consistently, and with confidence and control because that's what it's all about. It's a psychological game. But if you're trading the wrong way, it's going to affect your psychology in uh, in a big in a bad way. So what we're going to cover today is my four steps to trading, and you'll notice there that uh, the system that I use has a ha, has a moniker of Edge, and Edge, as we all know, is the word for advantage when it comes to trading. So I'll be going through each of these four steps um, as we go along today. 
Okay, so who am I? Because uh, a lot of you in here don't know who I am. What do I, why do I do what I do? Where does it all come from? Why is it important for you? And how can I serve you to achieve your goals? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back in time to February 2006, and I get this very nice email from Abe, uh, and he says this, and it's quite funny. You can see as he's not a, a, not a naturalized American, but well, he's, he's now American, but uh, he wasn't at the time. Uh, lives in Virginia, and he says, Dear Cohen, I hope you're doing fine. I bought Costco, and I make 84% profit. I also trade MTG investments with your pattern and make 175% percent profit. You are the best teacher nowadays in the market. Truly, you are my guru, and I learned a lot about your book. Thank you, your friend Abe. Now, I got this. You would imagine that I would be really happy about things. And by the way, the book at the time looked like the first edition, and that, that took quite a lot of getting that. So the first edition of my book that this guy had read and done rather nicely. This is way back in 2006. Now, you would have thought that I'd be happy about that, but uh, as, as it turned out, uh, maybe not, and I'll tell you why. Now, even already at that time, I had made enormous uh, thousands and thousands of percent returns in my trading accounts, You know, even starting from as small as 14,000, taking it all the way up to 187,000 on one account and more, but if we go back further to 2003, I'd hit a little bit of a logjam with my trading, as I suspect that a lot of you sometimes do as well. And I was introduced to uh, what can only be called a mad professor type um, who had an amazing way of trading. And his way of trading, uh, and by the way, I may well polarize you guys today, so uh, just, <laughs> we'll just have some fun with this. But his way of trading involved incredible things like what I call magical numbers. Uh, you know, Gann, Elliot, Fibonacci, all those kind of number sequences and even the planets. And, and the way he did it was it, would all, it was all one unified system. And it really seemed incredible that he could literally pick the highs and the lows precisely, uh, literally in advance of them actually happening. So who there in this room wouldn't want that? So if that's something you would like, just raise your hand now, just give me a little wave if that's the sort of thing that you really would want, to be able to pick the highs and to pick the lows in advance of when they happened. And so in March 2003, when I just hit a little bit of a quiet patch, having made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars yearly, I just had a quiet patch, I thought that would be for me. And of course, uh, it was amazing um, because what happened in the next three years is that I made precisely nothing. So having made hundreds of thousands every year in preceding this time, I now had made zero uh, in the next few years using this incredible system to find highs and lows, uh, uh, you know, in advance of when they were happening, using wonderful magical systems of numbers and planets and all this sort of thing. And as you saw the graphic there, I literally just was going round and round in circles. Now, here's the problem with trying to aim for perfection when you are trading. And this is a great quote I found. When you aim for perfection, you discover it is a moving target. And what I discovered with all this stuff is it's always a moving target. And it didn't work without hindsight. And here's the problem with hindsight. We don't have it as traders. Just give me a wave if you can agree with that. Just give me a wave. We cannot, we don't have hindsight. We don't have the benefit of hindsight when we trade. So here's what happened. We fast forward back to February 2006. I've got this email from Abe and I thought, you know what, I really need to speak to this guy because I want to find out what that I was doing that he has made so successful for himself. I know I've done it myself, but I kind of now got myself into a bit of a, a sticky situation because I've abandoned everything that I did. And what he said to me is this, I look at the option chains just as you teach me to do. Uh, and obviously he's referring to something that I had mentioned uh, in, in a briefing way, way years before and something that I used a lot to great effect and to huge success, except for one thing, and that is this but it just takes way too long. It can't be scaled. And you know what? You know, even my attention span is a little short sometime and I just couldn't be spending hours and hours in a day doing that stuff. So who here is the same as me that you just don't want to spend hours and hours and hours every day doing something that's pretty laborious and unscalable? Who's the, so most of you are with me with that one. Well, that's the same as I was at the time. 
because here's the deal when it comes to analyzing option chains, and I'll come on to in a minute why we do it. For nearly everyone, it's pretty much impossible because you're talking about billions of rows of data that would need to be memorized and analyzed, and you can't, you just can't scale that. You can do it for one or two, maybe, but uh, it's just too much for anyone normal to do. And you know, although some people have their views about me, I am reasonably normal in uh, in in certain respects. So this became something that, although it was very very profitable, um, it was such a chore that. I just couldn't do it anymore. So what I realized I needed, and it was just when I was Googling around at some point, uh, as, as you do, I just thought, you know, I, I kind of Googled how Google does their own stuff. And it just came out with this word algorithm. And I thought, you know what? I need an algorithm. It's exactly what I need to make uh, a lot of data into something simple, understandable, scalable, searchable, filterable, all that stuff. Because that's what nerds do, we find we find systems, we create systems, we create formulas. And the other thing about nerds is that we tend to make other people very rich, as, as have these guys. I won't even go into who these guys are because we do have limited time. But uh, here's a picture of me doing the Rubik's Cube and uh, here's a lot of other people who are quite nerdy who not only created amazing systems for themselves, but amazing systems for other people to also use. Now here's the question. Why do I need an algorithm to follow options activity? This is a question you might be asking. And here's the answer. Because options traders are prepared to risk more in order to make more. Just give me a wave if you understand that. They're using leverage, in, so they're risking more in order to make more. A very important point, and I'll explain to you why that's important in a little while. But here's the thing. Who would you rather follow? Random traders that you can, say, look at the volumes that everyone else can see, or would you rather follow smart, sophisticated investors who are willing to risk more in order that they make more? Just give me a wave if you prefer the right-hand side of that one. Who do you want to follow? The risk takers who are willing to risk more to make more or the randoms? Well, it's obvious. You're going to pick the ones on the right. It's a no-brainer. You want to follow those smartest, boldest investors. And again, we'll show you who they are in a minute. So here's where I was again in 2006, realizing that I needed to create this algorithm. And I'd love to tell you that version one worked, version two worked, and version three worked, but they didn't. So it was just a question of trying and failing and trying again and failing again until I got a smidgen of success in around 2008, which then carried carried on in 2009. And here's what it was that really was the catalyst to doing what I do. March 2008, Bear Stearns fell by 90% in just a matter of days. However, in the two weeks before, we could see signs with the new algorithm that I was doing that there was there were certain traders that were betting huge stakes that this stock would collapse. And guess what? It had nothing to do with volume and it had nothing to do with the share price. So I'm going to repeat that. It had nothing to do with volume because the volume had not picked up and it had nothing to do with the share price. Now, what it had to do with was the options traders. So what I had done is I'd created this little line that showed me what uh, option traders were likely to be doing or were doing. And even in the face of, uh, of Jim Cramer saying that Bear was not in trouble and it was a takeover opportunity, we could see in this little bit here, now I'd love to draw a line here, but my pen for some reason uh, is a bit dodgy, but let's have a look. I'm going to draw it here. This little line went down into this red zone, and this meant that options traders were betting against Bear Stearns. Note the price. It's still around the 70 to 75 mark, okay? They had turned bearish in a very big way. This, in this thing that I had created had gone all the way down to the bottom that it goes down, and within just a few days, as you can see here, Within just a few days, the stock had collapsed and volume only picked up here. And yet we could see it well before. Now that's kind of interesting, isn't it? That these guys here knew something before these guys here. Who thinks that might be kind of interesting to see what was going on with that? Okay, so the traders who did this down here, made a fortune, of course they did. Made hundreds and hundreds of percent in literally a matter of days. 
So what do I do that's so different and why does it give you such a powerful edge? Well, I find what the big hidden money is doing that's using leverage and then I make it easy. And what I do is I convert this horrible big grid of numbers, which is endless in some cases, into a simple line. So rather than looking like the matrix and all these colorful object, uh, colorful, well, lots of grids and lines and endless numbers, I've made that all into one little line that goes from a minimum of minus one here to a maximum of plus one up here. And it's ever so easy to use because when it's persistently positive, we would look for bullish opportunities. When it's persistently negative, we would look for negative opportunities. Now, here's the thing. This requires immense amount of data. It requires considerable algorithms and it requires proof that it actually works. Now, here's the thing that I want to make really, really clear, because going back to my experience back in 2003 and beyond, we do not use magic. We don't get involved in magical numbers, anything that's subjective or opinions. Now, who here has heard people saying over the last few years, there's going to be a crash? Gives me a wave of hands, wave of hands. There's going to be a crash. There's going to be a crash. Okay. Everyone's saying there's going to be a crash. Okay. Not me. I have never said it. Now, when it happens, we will know about it because we'll have the warning signs, as I will show you. But we have never said that because guess what? Opinions cost you money. Everyone says there should be a crash. In fact, one famous hedge fund manager said the market was wrong. The market is never wrong. You must get that in. Don't have opinions. Only look to see where money is going. Does that make sense? Just give me a little wave if that makes sense. Just look to see where money is going. That is the surest sign of knowing what is going to happen to the market. Now, we use logic. We use exactly that logic, a system based in logic that can be repeated and is transferable. Okay. No magical numbers. Magical numbers don't work without the benefit of hindsight. And unfortunately, we just don't have it. We're trading. We don't have the benefit of hindsight, which is why so many funds have had such a big problem over the last few years, because they just thought the market was going to crash. They put huge bets on it and they've gone under as a result. It's a crazy thing to look at. The news is crazy as well. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be following where money is going. Now, who are these people who are like to use leverage? Well, they have to be large because they're using a sophisticated instrument like options in any case. And we're only looking at large volumes. So what they do is they buy options instead of stock in order to get leverage in order that, you know, instead of a one for one deal, they're getting a five for one deal or that kind of thing. Now, the activity that they actually use because it's in options, it's pretty much effectively invisible to nearly everyone. And the reason why it's invisible is because there's just so much darn data out there and a lot of it's dirty and it's just too cumbersome for anyone to make sense of as well. Plus there's hedging activities going on, et cetera, et cetera. So huge a problem there. But here's the thing. You don't actually need to know anything about options in order to profit from the people who are using options. Now, obviously, I'm known to be a bit of an options specialist. And anyone, even these people who aren't necessarily options people, have used the method I'm about to show you to huge profit, whether it was Ryan who made 120,000, the father and son, 2,000 uh, 2000%. That's Richard and Sam. There's Kedzie made 200,000. Roger, who I'll tell you about later, 450,000 to the good. Here is Abe. He transformed his account. The guy who wrote to me transformed his account from $10,000 to $140,000 in two years trading with me. And here's Sheldon and his son, uh, trading buddies, made uh, 120,000 or three times their money. Okay. So just you don't have to be particularly sophisticated to do what I'm going to show you. And now the situation is that I have four books at Blue Chip Institutions, hired my services. I've created software applications for the NYSE and I've done data analysis for the International Securities Exchange specifically to their options. Worldwide bestsellers, all published out of the US, Options Made Easy, Bible of Options Strategies, Insider Edge, Volatile Markets Made Easy, and translations into different language as well. So here's the system that we're going to show you. Here's how it translates into these four steps that has generated millions of dollars in profits for just ordinary investors, just like me, just like you over the last eight, nine years. So the first part of this 
is all is this is critical because without this part you can't even so what i'm really talking about here is the entry of a uh, trade if you don't have that correct if you don't get that right right from the very beginning you lose control right from the beginning and then if you lose control at the beginning you'll lose control throughout the trade who would agree with me with a raise of hands that who they have potentially been in a situation where you've just gone into a trade without any real kind of plan right from the beginning who's done that and did it work out well yes or no it didn't work out so well we know the answer there so entries critical. If you don't get the entry right, you are unlikely to be able to recover to get the rest of the trade right. Now, the next part of the equation is so important. Now, one of the things that I'm assuming that everyone in this room has done, including me many times, is they have allowed a decent profit to turn into a loss. Just raise your hands if you have allowed a decent profit to turn into a loss, okay? and because you didn't have a mechanism of knowing how to do that, and that is what I call defending your position, okay? We need to defend our profits when they're on paper so that we can carry on with the trade and, and, and ensure that a decent profit does not turn into a loss. Now, the next part is a really fun part because with this part, we are already in profit and now we need a mechanism to allow it to grow. So who here has been in a situation where you have allowed, where, where you have exited a, prof, a, a profitable trade too early because you didn't know how to hang in there? Who's done that? same old hands going up there. Isn't it frustrating that you see a stock, it goes up. Let's just have a little draw here. Here's a stock, it rises. Here's a stock, it kind of rises, and you say, I'm going to take my profit right there. And then you look a couple of weeks later, and guess what's happened? It's run off without you, and you exited right here. Now, what a pain that is. So here's the deal, okay? You need a mechanism to enable you to keep in the trade. So that's the next part is obviously growth. That's how you make a small account turn into a big account. Riding the trend, making sure the runaway train doesn't run away without you. And here's the final piece. Without this piece, really nothing matters that much. You need a system that has proper evidence about it that is proven, that is based in logic, not based on fanciful magical numbers or the moon, the planets, the oceans, or anything like silly number sequences that just don't work without the benefit of hindsight. So you need a system that's proven and evidenced and logic as well. So here's how it works. For and this is what the system I teach uh, and show people in my OVI private club. It's called the Insider Edge Solution. Now, the first part is this, the entry. To get the entry right, to make sure that we do things in the correct way, as in the setup and the action to be taken, we have what's called the essential control checklist. This ensures that we have a checklist that makes sure that when we make a trade, we're in it for proper reasons where the odds are already on our side and we're doing it when the price is already going in our direction. Defending profits, well, we use for that the guaranteed profit protocol, which makes sure that decent profits don't turn into losses. Then we have the easy windfall escalator, which enables us to ensure that if a trend is going to happen, we're on it, and a whole thing has got to be based in evidence, which we have the smart money tracker for that. Because if you don't have a proper logical system, you're not going to get anywhere anyway. You're just going to go round and round the circles, as I suspect many of you have done um, and are frustrated with that. So if we go into um, the entry part of it, uh, we, we, have, we can split this up into three Ps. We're really talking about setup here and action. Setup and action, that's contained within these three Ps. So the first P is pattern, okay, or setup. And that was, what do I mean by this? Well, here is the OVI. So basically, the OVI goes from minus one to plus one. So when it's persistently in the positive area, we would look for bullish situations. And when it's persistently in the negative area, we would look for bearish situations. And we wouldn't go against that because this is where the probabilities all are. Now, let me just imagine, uh, let's imagine that uh, we're a chess player. Now, if you were a, a grandmaster, um, in the past, you would be able to eat anyone and anything, um, including a big computer, except for the fact that in about, I think it was 1997, IBM's Deep Blue actually beat Gary Kasparov. And now a 
computer using artificial intelligence will beat a grandmaster pretty much every time. So even a grandmaster uh, is going to have problems against the supercomputer. Now, this is kind of going back to the algorithm uh, thing that I was talking about earlier. We need an algorithm. So let's have a look at the stock chart here. We got the stock uh, going down and then up. Now, imagine that your super algorithm is then suggesting in blue that this thing is going to go up a little more. And if it did, then obviously the stock would go up, okay? This is very simplistic stuff. Well, now let's look at that in terms of OVI land and see what happens. Now, not every time, but but more often than not. Here's a stock going sideways. I think this is Caterpillar, by the way, recently. So this is stock going sideways, and our deep blue, our algorithm, our supercomputer, artificial intelligence is saying, largely blue, which means that the leveraged players at this point are bullish, okay? Just give me a wave if that makes sense. When the OVI is camped in blue, it means that the leverage players are bullish at this point. Stock goes up a little bit, jumps up, and then goes sideways. What's the OVI doing at the same time? It's doing the same thing, so it's still blue. Now, where does it suggest the next move could be? Well, it's a move could also be up, clearly. Who agrees with that? Just give me a wave if it's suggesting that the next move is up. Okay, we haven't gone to trading plan yet. We're just saying where's the probability of it going. And of course it does. This is Caterpillar actually. And it goes up and keeps going up and keeps bouncing up very nicely. And all the while, virtually all the time, this super uh, artificial intelligence computer is suggesting that the leverage players are bullish and therefore the logical move is up. And where is it now? Still saying that potentially up. And of course, that's exactly what Caterpillar has done, really right up to very, very recently. And of course, it was continuing as well. Now, this is only just part of the equation. This is only part of the pattern that we're actually looking to see. Because the other thing that we're looking to see here is not just this bit, but the actual pattern of the um, of the stock itself. So I'm going to draw this out for you, and we'll just see how we can go with this one. Uh, I'm going to just change my thing to blue. What I like to see is breakouts from a flag type of pattern or from a sideways move. And the reason I like this is because it gives us a staging post, a land marker, if you will. So I like to see a stock that's doing this when the OVI is blue, because I know statistically, not my statistics, independent statistics, prove that this setup will show that if the stock breaks out, it is likely to get to a manageable profit level. Now, we're not talking about a, a windfall at this point. We're just talking to a point in space which is easily attainable, a conservative profit target at which point I can defend my profits, okay, without having been stopped out um, before, okay? So very, very important. I hope you can see, um, I'm seeing other things on my screen. Hope this is okay for you. Okay, so this is exceptionally important. So this setup here gives me clear, uh, clear, uh, a clear staging post, if you like, clear markers at where I am going to um, enter a trade. So this would be here, my entry when it moves above and where potentially I would put my stop and protect myself. And it also gives me an ability to set conservative profit targets. So just give me a wave if that all makes sense. I can see something very weird on my screen, by the way. Um, but uh, I, I don't know what to... Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but something very strange happened to my screen. Uh, hopefully it didn't see you. So let's have a look at this particular chart of Caterpillar and just see where these flag-like patterns are. Well, you've got one right here. That one's one, and it keeps on going along. You've got another one here, and probably another one right where my mouse was, just, just here. Let's have a look. There it is. And then probably another one right after that, and even after that, and after that, and after that. And after that, because you see what happens is when a stock is moving up in a trend, it often does so in little flags and steps. Who agrees with that? Just give me a wave on that one. You've seen it happen over and over again. And so it's not the magic of the flag that's so amazing here. It's the fact that it gives me the ability to put a trading plan together. Because as you said at the very beginning of this uh, little session, one of the biggest problems is 
having a trading plan, uh, knowing how to have a trading plan. Now, having this kind of setup will help you put together a trading plan. Who thinks that's a good idea? If you focus on one setup, that you could get really, really good at that one setup. And then down here is where the probabilities start to stack up that this setup will start to be profitable. Because again, I emphasize, actual chart patterns on their own aren't all that great. What they do do though, is they give you the ability to put together a plan. And if you have a plan and a well-worked plan, then you have a much better chance of winning. So let's have a little game here. Guess the trend of the stock. So you're gonna do this very, very quickly. So uh, you can shout out as well as you like. First half of the chart, OVI is mainly negative. Second half of the chart, OVI mainly positive. Of course, that follows with a downtrend and then an uptrend. In what we're looking to see is where the OVI is typically in line with the trend. Now with some stocks, it'll do it more than others and at some times. That's what we're looking to see. Here's the S&P a few years ago uh, when it was not doing so nicely. And what do you see with the OVI? Mainly negative during a downtrend, and then guess what? Pops up during an uptrend, giving you more confidence for the next potential move up. And we're not gonna do it until the stock says we can. Here's the S&P uh, not long ago, 2015. It was going range bound. This is the one of the only times recently I've been bearish. I've said something's going on here. The market just can't get going. OVI for the SPY was negative, mainly down here. And that's when we had the flash crash. This literally 9% in just a few days, 9% in a few days. But guess what? The options traders, they didn't make 9% in that move. They made 68% in that move. Do you see what was at stake for them? Just give me a wave there. 9% on the index, but 68% on the options. So huge, huge difference there. The leverage guys were doing very well. Now look, here's another one. Um, can't remember exactly which one. I think it's Bank of America here. This is Bank of America. Again, big thick blue OVI. What does that suggest? Up, it suggests. And guess what? I've got a couple of breakout type of structures here. Now that meant 40% for Bank of America, but these guys, no, no, no. These guys were 255% or over three times their money based on the move from here up to here in a less than a, in about a month, month and a half. So you see what's at stake for the leverage players. Just give me a wave on that. It's very important that you, you tell me that you show me that you know that these guys are playing a different game in terms of leverage and risk, and they're prepared to do it. Goldman Sachs did exactly the same going sideways. Now, I mentioned these guys made a very big thing about it at the time, but again, this looked like the banking sector was looking pretty hot, and eventually, yes, here it goes. In October, we got a thick blue OVI. This is what the leverage players are doing. They're bullish. This is a 40% move from this second arrow here up to the 240. 40% 40 for these guys, what everyone can see, but for the ones that you can't see, as again, 255%. And by the way, we're not even talking about big leverage at that point. We're talking about quite deep in the money on those ones as well. Here's another one. Here's Apple. Um, just last year, again, so easy, thick blue OVI, and you, you see all these flag-like structures coming into play either before earnings or after earnings, and it's a 14% move even just from here up to there. 14% or 100% for these guys in blue right here. So you see what's at stake for them. It does go the other way, as you saw with Bear Stearns as well and the S&P. Here's gold looking negative. OVI also not looking particularly happy with itself, bit negative. It breaks to the downside and that's 6.5% for the GLD holders or, or shorters. But for the other ones, for these guys with leverage, 60% profit right down here, okay? So you see what's going on here. And there's another one I gotta show you here. There's Newmont Mining. I'll show you this because we showed you Roger earlier on. Roger did this one right here in February 2016 and rode the whole thing up using my trading plan. 100% for the stock, but guess what? During all this blue period, those guys made three and a half, so three, four and a half times their money with leverage. Okay, so you see what's at stake. It's important that they're right. And the reason they're right and they're big 
and they're sophisticated and they're using options is because they believe they're going to be right. Otherwise, what would be the point in using leverage? Now, you don't have to use leverage is the good news. Here's Caterpillar from recently. Uh, and again, it's it's a move off one of these structures. Again, all this blue OVI, 20% move here from 115 up to 135, 140. But for these guys, it wasn't 20%, it was 83%. So what these guys are showing you is the root forward. They're showing you the direction, which is so, so important. So this is actually a proven indicator. It's outperformed the markets over many years and many metrics as well. So basically, if you'd held it since 2005 with no leverage, um, you would be up six fold and with half of the market's volatility just by trading a portfolio of OVI stocks in yellow up there. And it's got, and it's also at the same time had one less than one quarter of the S and P's drawdown. Remember, in that time, the S and P took a drawdown of 56%. If you were just a long only person, this one had less than a quarter of that drawdown. And with leverage, the figures are even even stronger. Now, this is what independent financial quants say. They say using institutional standards of financial modeling, the OVI stands up to rigorous scrutiny as a valuable logical and robust indicator, which is highly valuable in predicting broad market sentiment and identifying individual stocks that subsequently perform. Again, this is an independent analysis. So you have to look at what is, um, you know, what is out there that is logical and also independently. Now, I do teach all of this stuff and I provide the OVI um, for Thank my you. private uh, members, club members. Hello, I got someone here on the microphone. Um, and this is what I give them. And we'll go back to the teaching just a second or so, but I give you unlimited OVI charts so you can see what's going on there. Uh, online tutorial videos so you know exactly how to use it, exactly what the trading plan is. Live webinars with me, um, the complete trading plan, uh, full reference library. So you don't just have videos, but you have written articles as well on how to do everything and unlimited support in the active community. So my OBI private members club gives you access to all the charts, you, all the OBI charts so you can use it and have that advantage of knowing what those leveraged players are doing. Now, this is my million dollar squad. Uh, we've got uh, Ryan and Kedzi and Roger and Abe and Sheldon and his son there. Between them, they've made a million dollars, 120,000, 200,000, 450,000, 140 and 120 individually over different periods of time. Um, this is a guy who recently just tweeted me, Andy. He said, um, well, basically just given us his trading account here. He's, he's up 8,000 pounds, so about, I don't know, $11,000 or something like that at this point in time. Just said he had JP Morgan and uh, he's had Phillips since I mentioned it. So just someone there who is doing rather well. And that was on uh, January the 14th, just this year. So 8,609 in profit over just two days, just recently. Just You can go and follow my handle on that and you can see it for yourself. Now, could you be part of that million dollar squad? So here's the investment. It's 2364 normally at 197 a month, um, but today I will be doing it at uh, 1182. So this, if you wanna do it, that's fine. And, and right now we'll go back to the teaching part of the, um, of the tutorial. So we talked about the pattern, the setup being in this particular case, we talked about here the OVI. So if we draw that out, OVI being persistently positive or negative in one sense, and also a breakout type of structure, like a flag or a consolidation or something like that. That's what we want as our staging post, if you like. It guides us in, in when to do, what to do. So that's the pattern or the setup. But what we need as well is we need a prompt. Okay, why prompt? We need the action. What is the action that you must take? And what is the prompt for that action? What is the, what's, what's the thing that's making you do something? So here's a, an OVI that's persistently positive, and here's our flag pat set up right here. I can draw that out a little bit better for you, but uh, you can just see it in here. There's your flag, okay? Just give me a wave if that is flag-like enough for you. It doesn't have to be a perfect flag, by the way. There's no such thing as perfection in the markets, but it's good enough. We can see that we've had a rising stock and we see it's gone sideways. And we also know underneath here that the OVI is persistently blue. 
Now, okay, I've drawn it out for you there as well, just to make it crystal clear there. So there, that's the situation we got, and we've got a clear area at which to enter the trade, and that's where we do it above the current the top of the flag. So if we have this, I'm going to just uh, draw it out for you again, right here. Uh, here we go. So here's our flag like this. The top of the flag would be typically the point at which we would want to enter. There are exceptions, but that's just above the top, by the way, not the top, just above the top. A few pennies above the top would be where we would feel confident in getting in because guess what? The stock is now already moving in our favor. By the way, um, I just want to also make a, a very, very big thing here and say I only trade stocks and options on stocks, okay? I only do that. I do not do anything else. I do not do Forex. I do not do commodities. I do not do bonds. I do not do anything else. I just do stocks. So, you know, and the odd, um, uh, the, the odd ETF, of course, but stocks and options on stocks. And there's a very good reason for that. And that is because uh, they convey you the advantages that other instruments do not. The stock market conveys advantages that other uh, instruments do not convey to retail investors. This is just it's plain maths what I'm doing here. And of course, there is the stock moving up through the breakout point and then into a profitable situation that I can then start to, perfect, uh, to defend afterwards. So let's have a look at the setup. Price is going up in this particular case, and then it's gone sideways. So up and sideways, up and sideways up and sideways, and the OVI has been persistently positive for a little while, at least during the sideways patch, been positive, certainly hasn't been negative. And what happens is, this is what happens with Facebook, okay? It's a clean breakout. Not always is it clean. Sometimes you'll have to you'll have to do deal with drawdown, but that's all part of the trading plan. So that's a setup. The action is you only make the trade or you make your trade conditional on when the price confirms with that move up through the breakout area, and then you would protect just in case something goes wrong. So the protection is where you put your stop loss, which is the next point I'm going to talk about. So here's one that's going down. This is Schlumberger when the stock was going down. And as you can see here, the first thing is this, the price is going down. Who gives a, um, who, who agrees there that the price of Schlumberger from what you can see is already going down? Give me a wave on that one. Give me a wave, a wave, wave. Okay, good. The price is already going down. Don't fight it. Don't bottom pick. Don't try to be too clever. Then it's going sideways. Little sideways movement. That's a bear flag. Nice. Now, it might not be a perfect bear flag. In other cases, this is pretty perfect right now, but it might go on for a little longer, might be a steep flag, but you know they are all the, uh, much of a muchness. And guess what's happening to the OVI? It's persistently negative. So the odds, where the leverage players are is that they are betting on this thing going down and that's what then happens and then we can start to manage our trade the action only happens when the stock has moved down in our favor as a shorter or buying puts and then we protect just in case something goes dramatically wrong and here's uh now here's another thing about your entry point as well this is very, very important. Why do we wait for the breakout to happen? Well, here is Ford and looking perfect. Who would say that from what I've taught you already, this looks perfect to you? This looks like the ideal setup. Just give me a wave on that one. A wave to say this is the perfect setup right here. We got an upward move and a sideways move with the OVI positive. This is why we want to trade when it's going up. Well, guess what happens? It didn't. It actually broke down. Again, the patterns aren't that important, you know, but they give you a way of managing your trade, which is vitally important. So uh, we looked at uh, the, the setup and we look at the action and then we looked at protecting the trade as well, which we got into there. So here's our trade here. Where are we going to protect it? Well, typically underneath the flag, depending on how deep it is. Now, there are nuances to how we would put in a protection, uh, our stop loss, of course, that is, in such trades. But do you see how the actual setup itself lends itself to a point of action to buy and a point of action to protect? Just give me a wave on that one. Okay, critically important because so many traders just don't do this and that's where they go wrong. And also the other thing is they just don't have anything that palpably 
puts the probabilities on their side, which of course the OBI actually does. So this is the system. Now I don't have time to go into all of it today, but as you've seen here, you've got the entry bit that we have covered here in some detail, um, how to, what setup we're looking for, what action to take to get in and how to then, uh, how to then uh, protect against something very bad going wrong. The defending part is very important because we just want to make sure that decent profits don't turn into losses, which is what everyone in this room will have allowed a decent profit to turn into a loss, including me many times, which is why I came up with a solution to that. Now, also, every trader in here, including me, will have allowed a tra will have got out of a trade too early. So these are kind of like the opposite of one another. But we need a solution for both of them that can then work together at the same time because you do not want to let go of profits that go on you don't want them to be going on without you so we need a mechanism to make sure that we stay in trades when they go on so that's the easy windfall uh, escalator and then we need a whole system which basically is enshrined within logic in order that what we're doing has a basis to it, has an empirical basis to it. And when we're talking about empirical, by the way, uh, when we're talking about empirical, it has to be independently looked at, independent, bad handwriting here. But not only does it have to be independently looked at, but it has to be robust. And by robust, I mean not curve fitted. Now, most trading systems, unfortunately, are the epitome are the definition of curve fitted and over optimized. If you are trying to create a trading system with your WYSI systems that has every needle at the at the you know at the full tilt, if you like, at its, at its absolute extreme, you are curve fitting, and you do not want to be doing that. Okay, because curve fitting is one of the main problems of all trading systems. The problem is that you need quants to make sure that you're not curve fitting. But virtually every trading system out there has been curve fitted, and that, that's the big problem. Now, you may have noticed that my charts are very simple. So which do you prefer? One with lots of lines and, and gizmos and, and indicators on it, or just a simple one? A chart with a setup and an OBI. Who wants the clear, simple one, and who wants a, a complicated one. Well, for me, it's got to be a simple one because I've done all the other stuff. I've had 20 indicators on my charts before, and guess what? It just leads to confusion. So here's Toby just making good profits, saying the best choice you can ever make in your life, a life changer, is the OVI. Here's Roger, by the way, and I want to talk to you about Roger because Roger is the guy who interviewed us, or we interviewed him, and made £300,000 or over $400,000 in profits, which is now over $450,000 in profits, and it just has been an amazing guy. He's, he's 74 years old right now, and he had been struggling for six years because of confusion, trying to trade things that didn't work, weren't based in empirical uh, evidence either. So just, you know, a really nice person lives about an hour and a half away from me in England, but over 450,000 in profit and going strong. There's him actually at my home when we did our interview and we were looking at some stuff together. Literally anyone, you don't have to be an options trader to be able to profit from options, if you see what I mean. We're looking at what options traders do. I can, and I do specialize in options, but I don't have to. I can do this for stocks because I'm just using my indicator to see what those leverage players are doing. Again, all these real people making real money and transforming their fortunes and not getting confused and not doing it with much more than half an hour a day if not more. Now, here's another guy. He's got a 7 out of 10 win ratio over however long it is, um, and he's just talking about the amount of points. He's up. He's, he's, he's in the UK, but he trades US stocks. He's over, well, 200% up, which is you know three times his money, which isn't bad. Here is Abe. Now, I want to show you this one because this is so cool. This is the guy we talked about right at the very beginning. He went from 10,000 to 140,000. He says, in one month's time, I made over 186% on my investments, and the money keeps rolling in. Hard to find a strategy that is low risk and and high rewards. It changed the way I think and feel about stocks with the realization that my investments are safe, my strategies are effective, and most importantly, I can sleep well at night. Highly recommend Guy to anyone who is a disciplined trader. Now, this is the problem most people have. They guess and they gamble and they have opinions which kill their trading accounts. And they don't use a system that's actually based in logic. But when you do use my method, you'll be using a you'll be trading stocks where the which the big money is betting on palpably. You cannot get that with volume. 
volume does not show you enough. That is just the plain fact. Um, but you will be using a repeatable and proven template that can protect you when you're wrong, but enable you to make winful profits when you're right. And here's another guy. Here's Ryan. He says, uh, blah, 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 and consistently made great choices monitoring his watch list for proper entries and exits with the technique that I teach. Now, again, here was my trading account when I started doing things correctly um, and was doing things in the right way, uh, making over about 1,400% what the what the experts say Roger and anyone else as you saw earlier doing this so quick 60 second recap um, because I know that Jeff wants me to go through a few questions and we started well we've got about 10 minutes I think Jeff because we started a bit late so have you learned anything today so far have we learned anything today about how leverage players can be hugely uh, instrumental in knowing where a stock is going to go? Just yes or no, hands up. So have you learned how what leverage players can do for you? Okay, hope you've enjoyed it today. This is not my normal kind of thing because I'm rushing through it. I like to get a little bit more into the technical stuff, but I just needed to show you what's, what's available, um, and I hope you found it valuable. And by the way, if you were to use this technique, would you think you'd have a significant advantage uh, that you had before in terms of your trading plan and in terms of potentially just knowing, you know, having a better odds of knowing where a stock is likely to be going? Now, it's not enough just to know where it's likely to be going because where the leverage is, you still need a trading plan to be able to execute it properly. Um, so it's super important that you do that. And I hope you feel more comfortable now with your ability to make money trading in the right way should you choose to come, come along board with us. And even if you use just a fraction of what I showed you in terms of the setup that I showed you today, that setup alone will help you enormously looking for the breakouts from stocks that are trending and then going sideways. So even that on its own will help you enormously because one of the big problems is that people are very inconsistent about what things they go into. I pretty much do 90% of what I do is based on that setup that I showed you uh, earlier on. I don't do anything else and I don't change instruments either. Now, if you'd like to spend more time together, um, then I will continue with what could be yours. In my OBI Private Members Club, we look at how to spy on and copy the insiders on the most lucrative stocks in the market. It's a proven step-by-step -step process to make outsized profits by identifying potential insider activity. Now, it's not always insider activity. Just sometimes it's just very well analyzed stuff that people are acting upon with leverage, but we are then profiting from it totally legally because what we're doing even if you are following an insider you're only following them you don't know who they are so there's nothing illegal about it nothing immoral about it. you're just looking at where leveraged money is going and you are then just following it now in my ovi private club you can follow the big leverage money in any stock that you like it's unlimited amount of charts obviously they have to be optionable and then i show you exactly what we're looking for as well but for each stock you'll have a private access to its own OVI chart, just like this one for Caterpillar, that is only available through me. Now, this only takes minutes, and there's a lot more. This is where Roger started, by the way. He just literally looked at the charts that I had. I have a, I have a couple of watch lists, three watch lists that are static that he focused on, and that's just the ones that he uses. So he's very minimalistic. He only spends maximum half an hour a day doing any of this. Now, the next part, apart from the charts, is real uh, of real example videos of how to put OVI trades together, real examples of real trades, and the method from start to finish, the whole edge system, the entry, how to defend those profits, how to make the windfalls, and how to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So you just literally watch over my shoulders and identify those prob higher probability trades and put the trading plan together and you just follow exactly that. Now, also in this, the third element is the live webinar tutorials with me. Now, this is a guy literally just the other day, I I'd, I'd uh, flag it up for you. Um, we had a webinar uh, like we do every every and this is his guy is called Jia, um, Jia Chang, and he says very wise words guy. I've just put the money into spread betting using the flag trader, um, which is the same system with very similar system, same method. You mentioned U.S. Steel at the same time my alert came through to say it broke out. I'm now in profit, making money listening to your webinar. And he's a fellow Liverpool fan, but don't worry about that. Um, that's fine. But anyway, the point is these webinars actually help people make money because they often 
get in or they you know you see what I'm doing and often when I'm doing when I'm seeing it you're seeing it too unlimited support I'm committed to anyone's success who is with us and we are also the most loyally followed trading group in the world we have people following us for 10 years coming back to our events and etc for 10 years we're only a small outfit but we're very very dedicated to what we do here's one guy literally just to I think the other day, yesterday, um, just talking about our support. Yes, five minutes later, everything was sorted thanks to Guy's team. So support I take very seriously as well, which is why people who tend to come along board with us stay. And in the OBI private club, this is exactly this is ultimately where Roger started. And it's ultimately proved to be worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars for him. And literally millions of dollars have been collectively made by uh, from the principles within this package where whether it's Ryan and Rich and Sam, who I showed you earlier, Kedzi, Abe, Karen, all these people started right here in a similar place to where you are right now. Now, other programs similar to this can be well in excess of $2,000. They don't give you anything like the value of this package. They don't give you anything like the logically based, proven type of system that we have independently proven, I would hasten to add. So as I said earlier, we're not uh, doing this at 2364. And I'm not even going to do it at half of that price, which I indicated earlier. But I'm actually going to go one step further and go to just 597 for an entire year membership of my OVI private club. And now, because of this and because of the live nature of somewhat we do, I only, can only make 30 spots available. There are over 400 people in here right now. So less than 10% could get this. So 597, when normally it's 197 per month, it's 597 for the entire year. And here's what you're going to get in addition to everything else. You get my OVI dashboard. Now, this is where we have a number of pies. This is an amazing thing, where it shows you which stocks are trending, stocks that are forming flags, and combined with OVI. And there are other uh, pies in there for reversals and earnings as others and other things. So you can view the entire market in terms of trend flags, OVI, and other uh, indicators that shows you literally at a glance, this is a recent thing which showed you the market has been bullish. Um, you can see that clear as day. So we don't listen to the news and we don't listen to commentaries and we don't listen to opinions. We just look and see where the money is going, where the price is going. It couldn't be more simple. The dashboard is where you start and it's an amazing thing, but it gets even better because the second bonus is my OVI sentiment indicator. This is a aggregate of the entire S&P where leverage is being deployed in individual stocks. So this indicator gives you a Again, a broad uh, indication of the direction of the market. So you set off off the right foot. So the combination of the indicator, the OVI sentiment indicator, and the OVI dashboard gives you the direction of the market to immediately increase your odds of success. So you really want to be playing in that direction unless there's a very good reason not to. So that's bonus one and bonus two, the dashboard and the sentiment indicator. The third bonus is the reversals trade finder because the market can't always be trending. And this reversal trade find is really, really cool. It finds you uh, railroad track and doji bars that are from my algorithms that help you then trade even in the direction of the OVI with the reversal as well. It's a really cool thing. Um, and uh, that too is another thing. So bonus one is the dashboard, two is the market indicator, the OVI sentiment indicator, and three is the reversals trade finder because we can't always be in a trending market. Bonus four is amazing. This is the OVI watch. This has only came along last year. A huge amount of work went into this, but this is where you can organize your own stocks and view even what I'm looking at. So I will pop up a stock in there and you will then see it pop up on your own screen as well, what I am potentially looking at at any one time. You also got a note-taking facility in there and the ability to never miss that trade again. One of the big frustrations I used to have was missing trades and I hated doing that. So that's bonus four, the watch list. Then five is the very special, soon to be added, the OVI Metastock plugin. So for all members of the OVI Private Club today, we will also make the OVI a plug-in into Metastock. I've been working on it with Jeff. We're very, very near ready to go uh, on both sides on this one, and that will be a plug-in. So you can plug this in and just do anything you want with it within Metastock, but also have the bonuses that are available on my platform as well. So all of those bonuses, the market dashboard, the sentiment indicator, the reversals trade fund, the OVI watchlist, and the 
Metastock plugin. All that, not for the 197 per month making 2364, but just 597, only 30 spots available. We're pretty much done. Uh, there is a guarantee, of course. If there is not right for you for any reason within the first 30 days, I don't want you to stay. Just let me know. I will give you your money back. And we, we only want committed people who really enjoy the service and hopefully it makes a massive difference to you. And uh, that would be great. Now, um, obviously, I can't also take back the knowledge that you're about to get from everything you get in there as well. So you can use it for 30 days. And if you just don't fancy it for any reason, you can get your money back. By the way, the link is getoviTraders.com. I should have mentioned that earlier. GetOVITraders.com. You'll go to a page that looks a bit like this, uh, and you'll fill in your details, and that will give you your access to what you want. Jeff, if there's any time for questions, we can definitely do that. Um, I know that we've just literally hit just shy of the hour um, from when you let me loose on, on everyone, um, yeah. but I hope that's been helpful. I, I want to just say one thing. It, it, it just lastly, you've got to think about your plan. Okay, it's so important. So many people forget it, but the plan is important. Number one, um, empirically, an empirically based system. Okay, empirically based. Sorry about the writing. Is very important. What is also important is opinion is not to be obeyed. You don't have opinions. Opinions will kill your account. So those three things are very, very uh, super, super important. And if you obey those rules and laws, then you will have a much better chance of making trading a profitable, less time consuming and more fun endeavor than otherwise. Um, again, the plan also, um, also put in here, this is so important, empirically based plus logic. Okay. Because if it's not, it's really not based on anything. Because in trading, you can have two things. Let me just uh, finish off with one last sentiment. You can either trade with anomalies, okay, anomalies, or you can trade on a phenomenon, okay? Now, the problem with anomalies is they come and go with no reason that they came and there's no reason they go. A bit like Forex. Forex will give a lot of anomalies that some system seems to work and then magically it goes away without any warning. The thing about a phenomenon is it's based in logic. OK, and that's what you want to be doing only based in logic. And that is where I will be quiet and Jeff will uh, come in and uh, tell me to go away or something like that. <laughs> Kick you out. No, uh, you did a great job. You have a lot of interest. Two real quick questions and as fast as you can. Does OVI stand for anything? Yeah, options volatility indicator. Um, in truth, there were two O's, two V's, and two I's, but we had to rationalize that. But ultimately, we're looking at options volatility. We're looking at pricing of options. We're looking at volume of options and even open interest as well. So we're looking at three metrics really in there. And then we still have to bake it into that into that little cake that is the line that goes up and down from minus one to plus one. Uh, U.S. stocks, right? Uh, only, U uh, only U.S. stocks for the reason that they need liquidity in the options. If there's no liquidity in the options, then there's 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 nothing to go on. So again, it's all logic based. We have to have liquidity. Also, you want liquidity in the stock too, because I don't want to be doing this on stocks I can can't get in and out of. So I only want to be doing this on all on liquid stocks, liquid liquid options. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guy. Very good job today. Um, do you have a Do you have a contact, uh, a phone number, an email that you want people to email you with? Because we have a lot of questions. We, we won't be able do. To do. We do. Um, I tell you where to do it is go to. Um, I normally press a button, but let me just write this down. Sorry about that. I, that's a very good question. I, I would just look at um, write into support at OVI Traders. Sorry about my writing here. Traders. That's okay. Dot I'm typing it. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, dot com. Yes, yeah, support at obitraders.com. And just mention the Metastock webinar and the special offer as well. Again, there are only 30 spaces. I have no idea how many have been taken up already. But because we do live stuff as well, we, do, we don't actually have many numbers at all. We don't try to either. Um, but like I say, um, we're doing something with Metastock very soon. Jeff, do we have a, a potential date for these guys on, on think... Metastock? I'm gonna I'm gonna say conservatively mid February to at late February. 
that's that's conservatively and oh, that's conservatively that's i think that's pretty aggressive but yes so hopefully within six weeks or so we will all be the technology stuff has been done it just needs one final test and then we're on board with uh metastock and we're really very very proud to have that association um as soon so, as it's ready is what we should say and not before <laughs> as soon as it's ready, yeah and, and yeah it will but it's not going to we're not going to be it's, it's going to be soonish um because the technology is the difficult part and that's been done um, but thank you very much. I want to say thank you to all of you. I, this is a very different presentation to the stuff I usually give. I'm usually a little more nerdy than this stuff, but uh, today I just wanted to give you the overview uh, of the opportunity. You did a good job. Thanks, for, thanks Guy. I appreciate it, and uh, let's get going. Um, thank you. Okay, awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of move on with the session. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Let us know how, you're do, how we are doing in the comments and uh, just want to remind you if you have questions on the uh, summit offer uh, our phone lines have been very busy but give us a call 800-587-8016 we have uh, we have some really really great offers on Don Fishback and John Bollinger's toolkit we're including access to Metastock uh, a boot camp that I'm going to be running on February 15th Unleash the Power of Metastock normally all that cost all that would cost you $921 as a summit special, it's $399 or $590. And we are going to keep moving. Uh, I've been pasting the link for this up in the uh, up in the chat periodically through the day. I do want to thank our sponsor, Modern Trader. Uh, they used to be Futures Magazine. They've been publishing forever. Great magazine. They give uh, really good market perspectives, insights, recommendations. And their offer to you today is if you get uh, their magazine, they're going to give it to you for free for four months. Actually, you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to provide a credit card. You can just sample the next four digital subscriptions for absolutely no cost. Uh, I'll paste the link up into the uh, uh, up into the chat box again once we get uh, John rolling. Um, there's no credit card required. There's no ongoing commitment. Uh, so uh, really, literally, what do you have to lose? It is a really, really good magazine. I prefer the physical delivery. This is for the digital delivery, though, and it'll give you a good idea of what's happening.